ya assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah barkan ku dai finally peter will be explain how to tackle insecurity now the big question yes if you become the president of this country what can you do to tackle insecurity banditry kidnapping and other social vices there's two way of fighting security where they don't do all over the world and it worked security is two types one that's what you call natural security natural security is that people must have a means of livelihood if you don't know where the next meal will come from your security risk because you don't have a job so you must do whatever it is possible to ensure that people have a means of livelihood. One. The more people are employed and they have a means of livelihood, you reduce criminality. And they become two. Two, you have to provide what you call defensive security, which is equipping, ensuring that your security agencies are properly manned, trained, and equipped. Security is a renewable asset. It's not something you buy something today, tomorrow you know go buy again. It is constant. Con constant. As governor, every every community in Anambra State had a security outfit paid by directly with we government they pay every community. We bought every community pick up for their security. For their security, go to number every community get pick up. They mm. get communication. So if you go, we have about two hundred communities. So if you still in one, they just put it into the system. Everybody knows there's a thief somewhere. And they are coming towards this direction. It's it's difficult for you to escape. We were paying them. That is the purpose of direct. And we are talking with the society. Engagement. And we started what we call. Now we be the first government. You did for Abuja. That one is it. We do what they call statistical record of poverty. The first state. The first state in Nigeria. To know where where poor and poor people live and why they they poor. When we look at them, they are in our farming areas. And the most important thing is that they don't have what they call access road. So what we did is what I saw in Bangladesh. We started opening roads in rural areas instead of having roads. They are going to build mansions in capital. I started opening the rural roads in the villages. Okay, please share this video. We we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.